you to imagine a chessboard. I don't know whether you play chess, but I'm sure we've all seen a chessboard. And, and what I'd like you to do is to imagine that you are a piece on a chessboard. And I don't know whether you would imagine yourself as a pawn moving slowly forwards, extremely vulnerable. Perhaps you imagine yourself as a knight, aggressive, able to move rapidly and quick sidestep, but with little concern for your own safety. Perhaps you imagine yourself as a knight, able to move also very rapidly, but constrained to the diagonals. Sorry, no, a bishop able to move diagonally. Or perhaps you imagine yourself as a rook or a castle. Solid. Usually very defensive. Of course, you could imagine yourself the king, the most important piece on the board, and yet needing to be protected by all the other pieces. Which leaves only the queen able to move in all directions very fast. I don't know what you chose, but allow me to tell you what you should have chosen. You should choose to be sick and tired of being a piece of wood being pushed around by somebody else. <laughs> All right? Doing the right thing, self-leadership is literally about leading yourself. And unfortunately, we don't always have that empowered. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the psychology, about how we are born as self-leaders. And yet, often, what happens to us robs us of our self-leadership. In researching self-leadership, there are a number of definitions. This is the one that's going in my book, which will come out at the end of this year. That is the end of the commercial break. The definition of self-leadership is a process of influencing yourself to intentionally achieve your goals. Not just accidentally achieve your goals, but to do it intentionally. And as you do that, you positively influence those around you. Now, the, the metaphor I use for this is an electromagnet. If you take a piece of iron and you wrap a copper wire around it and you connect an, electro, uh, an electrical current to it, it creates a magnetic field. And we know that on a Monday morning, everybody has a magnetic field. Some people come into the office on Monday morning, and their magnetic field raises your spirits. How are you? You're looking fantastic. Did you have a great weekend? And they raise your spirits. And other people seem to have their polarity reversed. Because when they come to the office on a Monday morning, they suck all of the energy out of the room. They are what I call the black hole people. <laughs> and it doesn't matter what you say to them. You try and cheer them up and they continue to suck all the energy out of you. But when you're a self-leader, you know where you're going. And when we know where you're going, we're attractive. 